Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Kohetsu Awagami Super Western or Yo Handled Petty 120mm knife. So this line of knives uses a very high quality and well heat treated Awagami Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat treat they do about 64 Rockwell and it's fairly scientific the way the, the maker and the factory that he's got these going in. They do samples and give him printed reports and testing and so it's uh, really consistent from batch to batch and excellent heat treat on these. So 64 is a, a kind of a high sweet spot for this steel and so these will have great edge retention and yet it's still pretty reasonable to sharpen. Uh, these do have uh, soft stainless cladding on either side of that hardcore steel which wraps over the spine. In practice this cladding tends to be a little on the semi stainless side. It may patina or stain just a little bit over time so don't necessarily uh, worry or be concerned if uh, it starts to patina or just discolor a little bit but because it, these tend to do that. The weight and dimension should be pretty consistent from knife to knife. This one's um, 81 grams or 2.9 ounces, about 115 millimeters on the edge or 4.5 inches, and the overall length is about 8.9 inches. Um, this one's about 1.8 millimeters thick at the spine. The uh, western versions of these tend to be just a little thicker uh, blade and a little more meat at the tip and at the edge than the wah handled versions. Those are just ground a little bit thinner overall. Uh, these are or definitely oriented towards a pro kitchen, and they're awesome in a pro kitchen. The uh, blade thickness, as I mentioned, is about 1.8, pretty much all the way down till you kind of get to the grind uh, and the shaping of that blade towards the tip, and then it starts to thin out for you. There we go. And it's not a very tall blade, but here is the choil shot. Uh, let's see, height is about 26.6 millimeter. And the handles are, it looks to me like a mahogany colored pack of wood, which is like a stabilized wood product. You do get a full stainless steel tang all the way through, stainless steel rivets, and a uh, integrated bolster, which goes right into the blade. So very nice quality on this. They've done a nice job with the fit and finish. They got a little bit of rounding on the corners of the spine, just enough to take the edge off, and then a little bit of relieving on this uh, choil as well and these are pretty darn sharp out of the box I'll give them maybe a six seven out of ten so they're pretty they're pretty nice out of the box I'm trying to get my fingerprints off there but here's our little beauty shot so if we take a close-up look you will see some embossed kanji on the right side of the blade they tend to thin out the blade towards the edge a little bit for performance so you'll get a shiny section kind of a polished section on the right side of the blade at the bottom and they don't do the same on the left so they'll typically just do that on the right and it's really hard to see but there is a cladding line there it's tough to pick up even in person but it is there it's very faint you can kind of there you can kind of catch it a little bit right in there right in there so um yeah, this is a, a stiff blade, nice fit and finish. Uh, let's take a look at the cutting board profile. Balance point is going to be way back here. I just thought of doing that. So there's your balance point, as you might expect. Cutting board profile, let's take a look. So here's what it looks like. Got a little bit of a flat towards the back on it. Uh, on a knife like this, you don't have a lot of clearance for your fingers for traditional board work. So a couple options. One is if you have a thicker cutting board like this one, just move yourself to the edge of the cutting board, and then you've got plenty of clearance here for your fingers. Or if your cutting board is thin, just take that cutting board right out to the edge of your countertop and then just work kind of right off the edge of your countertop. A little more chance of product, you know, falling on the floor, but if you want to do some board work with it and get a little clearance, you can do it that way. So just a nice line of knives that work great in a home kitchen, a pro kitchen, Excellent steel, easy to sharpen, uh, just a nice high performance line of knives, a lot of value there. So this is the Kohetsu Awagami Super Western or Yo-Handled Petty 120mm knife.